a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? specific question one that speaks of a more personal motivation for asking i can only to choose you have a parasite of your own you must be desperate to seek my aid tell me how long have you been infected mm. A sign that your cognitive abilities are not so robust as they appear. Still, you appear to be functioning far beyond the capacity of others I've observed in your condition. How fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Sathisk. I will ensure you are cured. It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even Gith Yankee rarely experiences atheists. You are very lucky, Izzy. Zathisk. This unnatural device offers your best chance of purification. You feel your parasite stir. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zaphis for curing unwanted afflictions. Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. The device possesses immense but unfocused power. If you fail to direct it towards the tadpole, your faculties could face permanent harm. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Agony. Lashes out aimlessly. Your right temple burns and numbs. Part of you is gone. A part you can no longer recall. An unusually stubborn specimen. Don't let it slip away. Else, I've got a bad feeling about this. The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. misses its mark, searing the back of your skull. The world grows dimmer, 
Your perception weakens. Focus! The procedure is almost complete. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Rotten. No. No more. Finally, the device makes contact. You feel your spirit unraveling, drawn from you in sinewy threads. Your body is a leaden husk, abandoned as you drift along the threads into the darkness. Death awaits. The room swims back into focus. Your mind is fractured, but intact. Inside it, the tadpole lives on, and you feel... different. No! No! The slave disc! What have you done?! My life's work! Gone! And yet you live! And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. It saved you. And it destroyed a Zathisk. Then its power is even more unique than I thought. I must examine it. Since the Zathisk did not extract it, we must resort to more traditional means. Wait here. I will gather my tools. Locked in. That's really good news. 